afternoon everyone let me start this wonderful afternoon with a quote communities and countries ultimately the whole world are only as strong as the health of their women with these words i muskan sharma on behalf of shrimati shanti gupta center for women studies mayer college of education welcome you all on this occasion where we have organized health awareness lecture on cervical cancer among women i would request dr rita divedi assistant professor mayer college of education to throw some light on today's health awareness lecture and formally welcome all the guests and thank you muskan good afternoon everyone present here it is wonderful to see you all here i dr rita divedi on the behalf of shrimati shanti gupta center for women studies mayer college of education welcome you all a real life guide aimed at helping you deal with cancer cancer not only kills the person but also kills the happiness in the family cancer is a way too serious to be taken seriously all the time to enlighten on the topic today we have with us a renowned oncologist it is a great honor for me to welcome dr abhinav choudhary specialist oncology surgical oncology shri mata vishnu devi narayana hospital katra jammu i feel immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to our worthy vice chairperson mayer dr renu gupta for gracing the occasion to provide us <coughs> her motivation and constant mentorship i welcome dr adit gupta esteemed director and principal mayer college of education who has continuously supported and provided us guidance in our endeavor to come out with great enthusiasm and zeal i also welcome mrs rupa gupta joint director mayer mrs ruchika gupta joint director might i welcome dr ronika sharma hod uj department in absentia dr monica bajaj deputy hod uj department respected faculty members and our dear students i welcome you all once again thank you okay muskan now i would like to uh, call muskan now i would like to call mrs rupa gupta director cws to introduce the resource person dr abhinav choudhary hello everyone and welcome to today's session i would like to introduce to you our resource person of today's health awareness talk dr abhinav choudhary who is going to talk to us about cervical cancer dr abhinav choudhary hails from the city of temples and did his mbbs from the prestigious government medical college jammu and then did his journals surgery training and later went on to receive his surgical oncology training from the acclaimed in the prest apollo hospital new delhi he further received training in thoracic oncology at portis hospital vasant kunj he worked as associate consultant in the department of surgical oncology at indraprasth apollo hospital where during his tenure he completed innumerable surgical oncology procedures and initiated the peritoneal surface malignancies program which includes pipec and hypec he is passionate about serving his own people and therefore after spending nearly 10 years in a pole hospital delhi he returned to jammu and joined shri mata vishnu devi narayana hospital at katra his fields of experience include breast cancer surgery head and neck malignancies gynecological cancer surgery including ovarian cystic surgery all abdominal and thigh malignancy surgery sarcoma surgeries urological malignancies and thyroidectomy dr abhinav choudhary ambition is to establish best surgical oncology unit in the country further he would like to work in collaboration with medical and radiation oncology teams to give the patients the best possible treatment and experience dr abhinav choudhary thank you so much for joining us today
I'm hopeful that today's session would be highly informative and meaningful. I would now request you to kindly start your session. Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. This slide is, I have made this slide, which you can see as a separate slide to emphasize that it is one of the most preventable cancers. And all the students here, they should take this message home. You can prevent this cancer. There are some cancers which we cannot prevent. There are some types of cancer like breast cancers, which have happened unfortunately, where there is no cause known. But here, there is a cause, it's a preventable cause, and we must emphasize that. Next, next slide, please. So in India, about 1.2 lakhs uh, women are diagnosed with carcinoma cervix annually. This is an official figure. The actual figure must be very high because many women do not approach the right people and do not do the right treatment. Next slide. The, as I told you, the incidence in India is now rising. Whereas it is falling in the Western countries because they started their preventive measures much earlier than us. They started the screening programs, the vaccination programs, the awareness programs in the 1980s. In India, the incidence is rising as women are becoming more liberated now. So they are experimenting with sexual activity at an earlier age. So we are at a stage where we, where the Western countries were in the 1980s and in the 1990s. So incidence in India is now rising. So it is important we stop it right now. Next slide. So as I told you, this is a caused by the human papilloma virus. Next slide. This is the person, Dr. Harold Zuth Hawson. He received the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 2008. He was the one who discovered the virus in the 1970s and he linked it to the carcinoma cervix. He said, this is the virus that is causing this cancer. And at that time, it, it was highly disputed. The other scientists used to say that a virus does not cause a cancer. Of course, now we know that many viruses cause cancer, like the uh, hepatic cancer, the liver cancer is caused by the hepatitis B and the C viruses. So at that time, he was made an outcast, but finally they accepted the mistake and he received the Nobel Prize in 2008. Next slide. So these are the risk, risk factors of uh, this cancer, unprotected sexual intercourse, multiple sexual partners. Another interesting risk factor is birth control pills, but for more than five years. So if women are taking uh, birth control pills for more than five years, then you should uh, consult your uh, gynecologist because then it increases the uh, risk of this cancer and you should switch to some other method. Smoking is also a risk factor as it is for any cancer and poor genital hygiene. So the poor genital hygiene is the reason why it is more uh, common in the rural areas. Next slide. So there is increased incidence in both rural and urban areas. Teenagers are getting exposed to sexual intercourse at a younger age. There is more sexual independence in India and women have multiple partners. And of course, there is still a tremendous lack of education preventing this disease. So if we, um, that is the, should be our focus. If we can educate the women, they are then capable of protecting themselves. Next slide. So these are the ways in which we can prevent cancer. So avoidance of promiscuous sexual activities. So not having multiple partners. Use condoms, usage, usage of condoms. The barrier contraceptive, it is almost 100% protected. Stop smoking. And as I pointed out earlier, vaccination. It will come to now. Next slide. Next slide, please. So this is the vaccination schedule. There are two age groups where we give. The preferable age group. This is very important. The preferable age group is the 9 to 10 years of age, where we have to give two doses. The other age group is 15 to 26, where we have give three doses, but it is less effective. You can give it, but it is less effective as compared to the 9 to 14 years of age group. 
my own daughter has received the vaccine just now when she turned 9 next slide so recommended recommendation is that you start taking it early as early as 9 to 10 years of age and just two doses are required earlier only girls were being vaccinated now boys are also being vaccinated even though boys are not going to have this cancer but they act as a uh, carrier of this virus so they we should vaccinate them also next so these are the symptoms of uh, cervical cancer bleeding vaginal discharge pelvic pain which means pain in the lower part of your abdomen then uh, bowel and bladder issues like frequency of menstruation so aapko peshab bar bar aana ya back pain back pain this can be some of the advanced symptoms the common symptoms are pelvic pain bleeding and vaginal discharge these are the three common symptoms next slide so how do we diagnose it the simplest way is to do a pap smear then there is hpv test testing there is punch biopsy there is curettage there is cone biopsy and we these are the various ways in which it is diagnosed so we don't have to discuss all this that's a bit of uh, that's a bit of advanced but these tests are very simple and easily done by gynecologists next slide so this is the staging which i told you is stage 1 2 3 4 to simplify stage 1 is when it is restricted to the cervix only and stage 4 is when it is spread to other parts of the body next slide so treatment in early stages is surgery and in late stages it is combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy here i will want to stop in early stages if the cancer is diagnosed in early stages we can cure it it is curable we can control it with surgery and we can cure it therefore it is very important to do cancer screening because by screening methods you will be able to detect it in earlier stages if you don't screen then you will come to the doctor only when the symptoms have developed screening means detecting the cancer when the symptoms have not developed so that is why it is important to start screening at 21 and continue till 65 so whenever you have the earliest symptom we can diagnose it and we can cure it okay next slide so my take home message today is that cervical cancer is a major cause of death among women in low and middle income countries like india infection with hpv causes cervical cancer it can be detected early before the disease develops we can detect the virus in your body before the cancer develops the testing kits are available they are easily available with the gynecologist highly effective vaccines are also available that prevent infection amongst girls because the vaccines don't cover all the virus subtypes screening is recommended even after the vaccination okay next slide okay this is a very important especially for our staff members here also and as far as the students as well who will later become mature women you start the screening at the age of 21 okay there are no exceptions even if you do, even if you are a married woman you don't have any uh, promiscuous sexual activity you are using barrier contraceptive it doesn't matter every woman must get screened okay you start at the age of 21 and you keep doing it till the age of 65 okay there are two methods which are given here pap test every 3 years or hpv plus pap test every 5 years but the commonest one is to do the pap test every 3 years okay and you there are no exceptions you have to do it throughout life because it is a preventable cancer as soon as you detect the hpv we can treat it there are medicines to treat the hpv before it becomes cancerous so that is the very very important point for all the women who are listening to this talk okay next slide thank you very much i will take any questions you have thank you so much dr abhina yes rita ma'am do you have uh, questions with you uh, thank you dr abhina for such an informative and wonderful session it was highly required for us 
since most of our faculty members and students are female though boys are there too uh, and for them also it is equally important they have uh, their um, female family members now on behalf of uh, faculty members and our students uh, i will be asking some questions like uh, what are the common causes of cervical cancer ma'am there is only one cause in night in 99% cases uh, human papilloma virus is the only cause that is the take home message we know the cause in many cancers we don't know the cause for example kidney cancer we don't know the cause but in this cancer we know the cause so that is the most important point of this talk it is caused by a virus which is transmitted through sexual intercourse that is why we can stop it from happening sir so who is most uh, at risk is it only a young women cancer disease like agar hum isko simple bhasha mein bole to kya sir young logon ko affect karti hai that is a very good question that is ma'am a very very good question and there is a exact answer for that from the age of 9 to 20 you are unlikely to have human papilloma virus in your cervix because the cervix of young girls is developing it is not yet reached a time of maturity but uh, after the age of 21 all studies have shown that almost all women have some amount of human papilloma virus in their cervix so the risk of the disease it starts from the age of 21 onwards but the risk of infection it is it can start any time after you start sexual activity so it can start from a teenage also but the risk of cancer it only starts after the age of 21 and we have seen some very young cancer also i have seen one woman who got it at the age of 28 so uh, it the the cancer itself it starts from 21 but the infection infection can start as early as the teenage okay thank you sir so one more thing is like in jammu um, i have never heard of you know any um, health camps or awareness program related to you know cervical cancer there are other you know, programs are there other cancer uh, i mean health talks are always there but we have never heard about you know cervical cancer because and like you said the incidences are rising so um, जम्मू में खासकर मुझे ऐसा कभी नहीं मैंने सुना कि सर्विकल कैंसर के ऊपर कभी किसी ने अवेयरनेस करी हो लाइक आपने कहा विलेजेस में भी है बट अर्बन सिटीज में भी मैंने स्पेशली मैं जम्मू रीजन की अगर बात करूं सो आई हैव नॉट सीन यू नो और हर्ड कि कभी ऐसा कुछ कैंप लगा हो या अवेयरनेस टॉक की गई हो सो उसके बारे में आप रीजन for many years we were a special state mm-hmm. and uh, the programs that were implemented from the center they are they were not properly implemented in our state mm-hmm. and i think from now that since we have become a uh, union territory and we, our state structure has been revised mm-hmm. i think now we will see more of these programs okay. because when i when i was in delhi these talks are done commonly i my daughter was studying in a school they invited me to the school and i did a talk in the school so i am very happy that you are doing this talk but it's very common in delhi in delhi they start this educating the girls at a very young age uh, they don't do that here we should do that we should do have more of these campaigns i think in future we will see more of these campaigns. and are the vaccinations uh, you know vaccines available in uh, in our no jammu city yes ma'am yes ma'am they are available in city you can consult your pediatricians or your gynecologist they are easily available okay so are they you know uh, uh, on the you know because sometimes you know when i was inquiring about it so they said that we have to get the vaccine from delhi and it will cost no. you more no no okay they are available now in delhi, in 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 jammu okay thank you so much uh, rita ma'am any other question ma'am one question is there is it possible to remove the cancer cells permanently or there is any possibility of reoccurrence in future very good question so uh, there is a pre cancer stage then there is stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 4 the, from pre cancer stage to stage 2 it is possible to remove the entire cancer through surgery 
in pre in pre malignant stage just a small procedure is required in stage 1 and 2 we have to remove the whole of the uterus usme puri bachche dani nikalni padti hai but uh, till the stage 2 we can remove the entire cancer we can cure the patient so one more thing like you said uh, you know menopausal stage mein first sign nazar aata hai so sometimes you know women they remove their uterus permanently so is it because of fear ki kabhi future mein aisa hoga uh that is actually two questions and two, both are very excellent questions uh so uh, the re, uh, reason why people, women remove the uterus is generally due to bleeding is they are like, having excessive bleeding in their 40s so uh in that case sometimes uh, the gynecologists they don't remove the cervix that is a wrong thing to do they should remove the whole of the uterus and the cervix sometimes however the cervix is left behind and you, the cancer can still happen in the cervix so if you are uh, go to a gynecologist and she advises you surgery you must take this uh, this discussion you must have with them that should i you must remove my cervix also because leaving the cervix behind means that the risk of cancer will still be there so that is a very interesting and a technical question that you have and the other question is uh, related to this is that if you had your uterus removed in the past whole of the uterus are you then at risk mm-hmm. of cancer mm-hmm. that's a very good question a very good question i'm amazed you asked this question because this is usually asked by medical students only suppose at the age of 35 you had your uterus removed you are risk you are at risk for ca cervix for at least 5 years not after that okay. so you have to do pap, pap smear for another 5 years okay that's a very good question very good <laughs> thank you so that was you know it's always on our mind so i thought i should ask it from uh, from my perspective yes because uh, uh, hysterectomy is very common sometimes it is not even indicated okay but every uh, in every family it is one one woman has already got it done <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much abhinav yes ma'am any other thank question or we should we ma'am this is the last question uh it is like uh, what is the survival rate of the uh, cervical cancer okay so uh, the overall survival rate is about 60 to 70% over 5 years okay. that is including all the stages but in stage 1 and 2 it is almost 90% and this is we are talking about 5 year survival okay thank you so much sir thank you sir okay thank you very much now thank you sir for guiding us about cervical cancer we really feel lucky to be a part of this program now i would call miss neha sharma to propose a formal vote of thanks on behalf of myer college of education and center for women studies thank you muskan good evening everyone on behalf of shrimati shanti gupta center for women studies it's my proud privilege to propose a formal vote of thanks I extend my heartfelt thanks to our honorable resource person Dr. Avinav Choudhury for sharing his valuable time and gracing this program by his benign presence. Thank you sir for enlightening us with the knowledge and expertise. I extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Renu Gupta vice chairperson Mayer Dr. Adit Gupta principal and director Mayer Mrs. Rupa Gupta joint director Mayer and Mrs. Ruchika Gupta joint director Mayer for gracing this occasion. I also thank I also take this opportunity to thank Dr. Ronika Sharma HOD UG department in her absentia and deputy HOD Dr. Monica Bajaj for providing providing their wholehearted support in organizing this health awareness talk thanks are also due to all the students of my college of education and my for being attentive listeners last but not the least i thank all the faculty members of both myer and my college my special thanks to dr rita drivedi and ms namnidika sharma for organizing this awareness event i also want to thank mr rajan salathia for the technical support i thank all those who were directly or indirectly involved in making this event a great success thank you all thank you dr apina it was great great listening to you and uh, for the first time you know we were able to understand few of the things which we never did 
so uh, in the future also we would like to you know listen to you and you know we may have uh, more queries related to this because this is one topic which you know uh, we as women were never aware of and uh, you have made it so like you explained it so in a simple manner और मुझे लगा कि शायद हमारे बच्चे जो यंग यू नो टीचर एजुकेटर्स हैं स्टाफ भी हैं बीच में तो उनके लिए ये बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी था सो इट वाज अ वेरी पर्टिनेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस एंड द वे यू एक्सप्लेन इट सो वी आर रियली रियली थैंकफुल टू यू एंड वी लुक फॉरवर्ड टू हेयरिंग टू यू एंड सींग यू वंस अगेन इन द फ्यूचर सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग एस